Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. We are going bailing again today for Robert, same person I did the bailing for last time. I've got the front wrap holder on today because I think we've got a bit more to do. And I'd rather have the wrap on the front than on the side for the bailer because it just doesn't stick out so much. So. For our wrap, so I'm going to fill up the wrap holder a second. And I've got to fill up the fuel, wash the trap there, or wash the windows. And then we'll head on our way. That's all the wrap on. I've got 10 rolls on the front. You can just about see them there. Um, yeah, I'm just going to wash my windows because when the sun, you can't really tell on camera, when the sun goes on the windows, it's very hard to see. I'm going to wash them. I need a little bit of fuel. And then I'm pretty much ready to go. Um, yeah, 18 acres again, I think it is to do. But it looks a bit thicker than last time. So, might be a bit take a little bit longer but we'll see when we get there that's my windows washed best they can they'll dry off in a sec just there's a bit of water on just gave the bonnet a bit of a wash uh, I just gotta wait for him to move that trailer so we can get fuel and I'm gonna put some oil in the baler to make sure the chains are nicely lubricated and then I'm ready to go I'm pretty sure um, yeah so we'll uh, we'll get that done and I'll see you when I'm in the field Ready to go. I've just given it a quick blow down with the um, oh, leaf blower. I find that's the easiest way to do it. I'll put this back and we'll be there. Just arrived at the field. This field I bailed last time uh, in the last video. But the grass is coming back really well here considering it's been really dry. But this is quite low ground so it does hold moisture. Uh, they used to do maize here and um, we used to get stuck all the time. So. I think it's definitely more suited to growing grass, but that was a bailed a week ago and look how much it's come back already. Not so much there, but this, this patch here has really well come back. So um, yeah, I'm surprised how well it's come back. But we're in this next field over. At the very end of the last video, I just finished, did the headland of this one. They didn't cut all of it, they just cut the headland. So we'll get that one done first, I'm pretty sure. Um, I think Robert's over here raking it in the in his class again. Looks like he's done a little bit. Oh no, he's done all of this one, so that's all right. He's well ahead of me, so I shouldn't catch him. So I'll get set up and start start doing this one. And we're off. Second bit of bailing for Robert. Not a bad crop here. The second field is a fair bit thicker. Yeah, it should get it should get well in this one. I was hoping some of the bells might be in the field because I so I could see if they um, squat down much. But you can see the headland that greened up well from what I felt last week compared to what's just been cut. It's a fair old difference. Just ran out of wrap. As you see, it's real nice green grass and really nice silage, to be honest. Bit of clover in it, but here you can see, for some reason, this it must have got wrapped round somewhere. This plastic should be here as well. Uh, it must be up in the bay, like say. It happens every so often. It doesn't matter because it will still wrap it up, um, so it's no big problem. But uh, just sometimes the odd bear will come out like this. Um, not quite sure what roll it's wrapped round to. I've got a bit wrapped round there but that was from last time I think. So I'll have to try and find out. But yeah, I'm just gonna put some wrap on. Might have to just lower the uh, bed a little bit. I'm just missing a bit. So I've just had the chamber block out, which is normally quite easy to fix on here. But because I'm showing you it's better, it won't be so easy. So I just dropped the floor out on that berm and then the symbol should come up here. So that's the drop forcing symbol, which basically makes the opening slightly bigger. And I just turn the PCO back on, and uh, it sucks it in. But it does struggle a little bit, but it sucks it in. And then I can go and wrap the bell up like normal. And it'll wrap it up, job done, and I'll just put the floor back in after it's done. So 90% of the time when it blocks up, that's all I've got to do. Uh, worst comes to worst, I can. Um, take the gear out the 
pickup so the pickup stops running and then just run the bell chamber and make the bell so there's nothing in the way for it to um, to suck through into but yeah majority of the time just drop the floor and it, it does the trick so I've just run out of wrap on the front so I'll do a quick little time lapse here of me changing it so you can kind of get an idea of what I do That's the first field done, 74 bales, it's fairly steady going because it's quite wet thick stuff but we got there in the end, no major problems and no major blockages. So we're just going to go into this next one which is even thicker I'm told so it could be interesting. Hopefully we don't have too many problems with shear bolts uh, but yeah we'll, we'll crack on into it and see how we go. But yeah there's some pretty thick lumpy looking rows here so I'm definitely going to be taking it steady. Just in this next field, you can see that those bells aren't very far apart. I'm dropping them out pretty frequently. There is some big rows of grass in here. Uh, we're going to have a fair few bells. This is bigger than the last field. I did 72 bells in the last one, so it's going to be well over 100 in here. It is steady going, but it's, it is nice grass, but it's just very lumpy and quite wet. But it'll make good silage. So we'll struggle on and uh, try and get this done as soon as possible. Uh, the, I've had a nightmare, the flipping shear bolt's gone. So basically there's a shear bolt that runs the top set of rollers. Uh, I had a big lump suck in and yeah, it's out the shear bolt. The shear bolt's in here under this cover. So I'll get that opened up and then I'm gonna have to try and line them back up. But because the chamber's full, there's a lot of tension on the rollers, so whether I'll be able to spin it or not, I don't know. This here, I'll show you in a minute. This um, handle here, I can put in there and spin it by hand, but like I said, there's a lot of tension because the bell chamber's full. Um, I might not be able to do it, so I might have to let this one out and roll it out by hand and make another bell, but we'll give it a go and see what we can do. So there are two shear bolts uh, in here. Here's one, but this one's intact, so it's not this one. This one's fine, this runs the um, pickup, and then the other one is in here, which is the one that's broken. Um, so basically there's two cogs that sit next to each other. Well, there's a cog, this cog, and then the shaft runs through and the shear bolt runs on this shaft. So there's the shear bolt. Let's see if I can pull it out. It's jammed in there a bit. I'm about to get a hammer to pack them out. That's the shear bolt. And the other side of the shear box up here somewhere. So obviously it snapped and in the wrong place. So I'm gonna to have to get those those two holes to line back up to push the shear box through there, which is easier said than done. Trap I'm bailing for is kind of coming in me a hand because I can't get the shear bolt out. Basically, you can see the head of the shear bolt there. And uh, I've lined it up with that hole there, near enough, but I need to be able to trap it out. Uh, but where that shear bolt snapped, I, it must have snapped not cleanly. So, sort of, say this, this is your shear bolt, it's snapped here, but where it's not snapped cleanly, there must be a bit sticking out so it won't slide out of the hole. I hope that makes sense. So, say that's the hole, like that where it snapped off here, there must be a bit stuck up so it won't go out, so I need a hammer. I've got spammers and everything, but I haven't got a hammer to knock it out, so he's gonna head over now and give me a hand to um, knock it out. Cause yeah, I've still got a hell of a lot to do. It's now 20 past six. So yeah, it's gonna be a uh, late night, which is brilliant. Which is not really what I wanted, but shit happens. So let's get this fixed and get back going. Just got the bolt out, but it came, the shim has come out as well. And then when we took it out, the bolt was like bent right around the shim. So no wonder we couldn't tap the bolt out. Um, but 
but Robert's gone to go and cut it off. And then hopefully we'll get a new shear bolt in and we'll be going again. Because it's now 7 o'clock and I haven't done any extra. So, yeah, it's definitely going to be 10, 11, 12 o'clock maybe by the time we're done. But I might be able to leave the tractor and come back in the morning. Finally back up and running after about an hour. I had to wait for Robert, but he got it sorted in, so that was ideal that he could help me with that. And we're back going again. I'm oh, sorry for Matt's going to not want to cut for me. But yeah, it was just really jammed in there. I've never had one that bad. Normally they just slide out, but this one didn't want to. But never mind, we're back up and running again. Things really don't want to go right today. I've got all this port around my feed roller now. Just where there's really stringy grass, so I'm gonna have to try and pull it all off. It's nicely jammed on there, which is perfect. I'm gonna try and cut this off. That's got all that off anyway. It came off easier than I thought, but it's just really long, stemmy stuff. Um, gets wrapped round, and when you get a little bit wrapped round, it just keeps going. So get that off before the whole lot was covered in it. But Still got loads to do, sun's going down, best crack on. Gonna call it a night here tonight, leave the tractor here and now I'm gonna come back in the morning because I've still got a few hours left to do here. And it's currently just gone 10 o'clock so it's gonna be well gone midnight if I carry on. So we're gonna call it a day and we'll come back tomorrow. Right, day two of baling. Just greased the baler up. Really need some auto grease on that thing because uh, it takes forever. I've probably been half hour greasing up there's so many grease points but we got that done mum's just come out with me i left the tractor here last night we've got four more things of wrap so i hope that's enough probably got half the field left to do hopefully get it bashed out in a couple hours and then we'll be done for today i think they're about mowing some more of robert is so we might be back tomorrow but we'll see but anyway we'll get this done and i'll be back with you sorry about that breath i was rushing this row I'm really struggling with is uh, the pickup's only just wide enough. So I just had to get out and spend half an hour pulling it out because it gets jammed in the corners of the pickup. Um, I think Robert's freaking a little bit wide, but we're getting there. I can't cut a lot of bells again. No, I just have to get real steady and really pay attention to what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm always getting jammed in the corners. I had a really big lump there. It was a bit of a job to get it out, but we got it out in the end. The main bit it gets like trapped there. So, and the other side. So I just gotta make sure that I'm feeding it evenly into the chamber. And that was about 184 so far. We're gonna be well over 200. Just thought I'd show you that I had a lot of bells in this field, as you can see. They're pretty, uh, not very spread out, so many. But yeah, just on 210 bells now. And uh, one, two, three, four, five, six short rows to go, so we're nearly there. Um, hopefully Robert comes and picks them in because his bells are going to have holes in because there's crows down there. He was picking up some last night, but yeah, there are crows down there pecking them. So yeah, it was another nice day anyway. It's supposed to rain Wednesday, it's currently Monday, so hopefully we get some rain because we need it at home and I'm sure Robert will be glad for it on this uh, freshly bailed stuff. Right, we're finally done. 227 bales off of 18 acres. So you'd normally expect uh, 10 bales an acre. So that'd be 180. So we're 47 bales over that. So definitely a decent crop and some real good silage bales. But anyway, used uh, 10. 14 rolls of wrap, 100 litres of fuel, I think. So, about half a litre of bell, I think I was using. Um, so, not too bad going. I don't need Eco PTO all the time. So, yeah, anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.